When the user receives a new notification, we should be able to display one new notification or two new notifications for that particular user. And that's what we're going to be doing. We'll create a new component called unread notifications. And right here, we're going to have the count of unread notifications for that particular user. So as soon as we create it, you'll understand more of what we are trying to achieve. So right here, I'll go ahead and create a new component and this will be unread notes.view. And I'll go ahead and register that component in my app.js file. So right here, I'll have unread, and this would be from the unread notes.view file. Okay, so in my unread notes, I'll have a template, and this template is simply going to be a list item that I'm gonna place right here. So I'll just go ahead and say list item, and the anchor tag, and this will go to our notifications route, and it's a page that we're gonna create so that we, a user can actually see his notifications in the application. And right here, unread, notifications and uh, right there in here we want to just display a span that batch and uh, right here we're just gonna have seven and this is going to be dynamic in a moment okay so there we have script tags where we have to export by default the component itself and we'll just have a mounted later on so now that the component is registered let's go ahead and insert it to our application so we'll mount it right here immediately after my profile route. So we'll have on red right here. So that's mounted. Let's go ahead and run gulp. So gulp. Okay, so that's compared for us. If we go ahead and refresh the page, we should have on red notifications. There's seven of them. Okay. And what we would like to have is actually this dynamically displayed. So how would we do this? First, we'll make an Ajax request to our server as soon as this component is mounted. Secondly, we are going to store all of these notifications in our store. As soon as we store all of these notifications in our store, we'll be able to use a getter to get the count of the notifications and would we'll be able to display the number of unread notifications right here. As soon as we receive a new notification using our notifications.view, we are going to change the state of our application in the store. And as soon as we change that, the unread notifications is going to count the number of notifications and it's going to increment by one. Okay. So if you're not understood that, we're going to do it and you're going to see how it works. Okay. So the next thing in our store, first of all, obviously we're going to need somewhere to store our notifications so i'll just go ahead and say notes and this is going to be an array of objects that we are going to get from our database so right here we're going to store all the unread notifications in our application okay and we're going to have a getter that returns the count of all the unread notifications so let's go ahead back to our unread notifications component and we are going to be making an ajax request to the server as soon as the page loads when we get that data will store it in our store. So we'll make a request, get all the unread notifications and we'll store it in our store. So let's go ahead and say this dot get unread. Okay. So get unread is going to be a method on this component right here. So we'll say methods and then we'll say get unread. And this is going to make an Ajax request to our server. So we'll go ahead and make that request HTTP dot get and uh, right here it's gonna just get to the get on red route and as soon as we receive the data we'll just say that then and right here we're just gonna receive the notifications sent from our database okay so just for now we're just gonna console the log the notifications we get so first of all let's get all the unread notifications using our web.php file so right here we're gonna create a new route and this is gonna be a get and this is gonna be get on red and we'll just pass in a closure so that we are not complicating things. And the right here, we'll just say return the authenticated users on red notifications. Okay, so that should do it. So we're just returning all the unread notifications of the authenticated user with the get on red route. Okay, so just to review what we are doing, the component is mounted. We get all the unread messages. And we're going to store that in our store very soon. So let's just go ahead and make sure that Ajax request is passing through. Of course, we have to run gulp. And I'll just go ahead and say gulp watch. Let it keep watching. As soon as this component is mounted, we should see the list of unread notifications for this user. So let's refresh. Unexpected 
open brackets so I think I have a typo right here in my web.php and uh, of course I didn't put the semicolon sorry about that so refresh and the component is mounted and I received the get on red route and uh, right here we have an array and we have one object so we have one on red notification for this user okay and right there we have a data object okay so our ajax request is working let's go ahead and create a mutation and an action to push this data into the store in the next video